So I was getting ready to shoot a whole different video and I saw something on Reddit that made me want to stop and make this one real quick. It occurred to me that there are other people out there who aren't very well versed in computer hardware or software, but are looking to get their hands dirty. And sometimes one of the first things they do is upgrade the storage or memory on their laptop or desktop computer. Uh, and that's what happened to this gentleman on Reddit. Here, see? He upgraded his SSD, turned his computer back on, and it went straight to the BIOS screen. Well, some of us know exactly why, uh, but some of us don't. So this is for you. I'm just going to cover some of the basics about upgrading your storage and show you the method I use, which I think is relatively simple and clean. First, looking at your storage, what do you currently have and what are you moving to? Uh, some people might still have spinning hard drives. Um, some spinning hard drives are small like this one. Uh, some SATA solid state drives are also small like this one. Fits in the exact same slot, uses the exact same ports. But you might be upgrading from one of these to a M.2 NVMe solid state, which comes in different shapes and sizes. Now I'm not going to show you how to pull the storage out of your laptop or computer because I don't know which laptop or computer you have. But let's say you've taken that first brave step and pulled out your old drive and you're ready to put in your new storage. You can't just pop in the new one and turn it on and you're off to the races. Your Windows operating system, your login information, everything is in here all behind uh, a password protected partition. Uh, you can't even just plug this into uh, your computer and use it as an external hard drive now either. Um, you have to clone your primary drive over to your new one. So I'm going to show you how I clone my drives and make a very simple transition. Now, depending on which kind of drive you're coming from and going to, there's a couple different methods for uh, moving the information. If you have a desktop PC, they make these little expansion cards. You can pop in your new drive and your old drive and clone them directly. In a lot of cases, they do make these enclosures. You can pop in your old SATA drive, plug it into your computer via SSD. Same thing with M.2. If you don't have, if you're using a laptop, for instance, um, you get an enclosure, plug in the new one via USB. C or USB and clone your primary drive onto your new drive. But now for the important bit, the software. For that we move over to the test rig. In this particular case I'm going to clone my test benches main drive over to this new SSD. Remember to always Shut your computer down before adding any new storage. The first thing you want to do when you boot up is just make sure the computer is reading uh, the new drive that we'll be calling Target Drive. And I'll be using PIP-System Monitor. This is a hardware monitor app I created using Python. I've got a whole other video you can watch about that. Here we can see that the source drive C is there and the target drive E that will be written over is there as well. Now there are a number of different apps out there you can use for cloning a drive. I'm gonna be using Disk Genius, free download you can get. It does data recovery, backups, and disk utilities. Once it opens up, you'll see both your source drive and your target drive listed. Go to Tools, scroll down to Clone, and it will ask you to choose your source disk. Now in this particular case, since I am cloning the main drive with the operating system of the computer I'm using to do the cloning, it's suggesting I use a migrate function that it has. If you are doing a similar function, like you have your laptop and you've bought a new drive and you've plugged it in with a USB external uh, apparatus and you just want to clone the main drive, this is the method you would use. It will then ask you to select your target disk. In our case, we only have one option. 
It's, of course, going to make sure you mean to do what you're doing. And right before you start the process, it's going to show you a screen here confirming your source disk and your target disk. Also, before you begin, it will give you the option to reboot the computer after the process is done using the new cloned drive, mainly to make sure it worked and everything is as it should be. Another couple of warnings and an explanation of hot migration. Hot migration involves taking snapshots of your drive and copying those over to the clone drive. Uh, this will allow you to continue doing things like screen recording, for instance, uh, while it completes the process. And in just a few short minutes, you'll have a clean copy of your primary drive. As we can see here in our file manager, we have two drives named Vault 001, but you can see the letters are different there. One is C and one is D, so just keep track of that. All right, and there you have it. Your computer's entire identity, its brain is now on your new storage device. You can go ahead and swap out your drives and you are all set.